Hello everybody, how is it going? Welcome to another video of the development series of Bliss. Today, I want to talk a little bit about animations and why I decided to start making all of my animations with a program called Cascadeur. So what's Cascadeur? Well, in short, Cascadeur is a 3D physics based animation software in which you're provided with multiple tools to help you create realistic and appealing animations. Now let me tell you about my journey of 3D animation before and after using Cascadeur and how it helps us out making Bliss a better game. So, how I got to know about Cascador? Well, I was actually pretty lucky to get my hands in Cascador. One day out of nowhere, a friend of me sent me a message telling me that I should check it out. I looked at it, but I wasn't really interested in it, to be honest. I was tired of trying to learn new programs at the time, so I was not going to test this one out. Not until my friend told me that even he could animate using Cascador. So I decided to check it out. And when I saw how easy it was to set up the rig system, which gave you full inverse kinematic controls, I immediately registered and signed up for beta access. My first impressions using Cascador. Well, for starting, I was amazed of how easy it was to set up your character. So if you have a rig character, you could put a rig on top of that and it would work without having to change anything. And I was, I was also surprised to see how good the rig system was. After setting up the rig for Bliss, it gave me way better control of the rig that I was using and it made me feel like I could create better animations than before. I was using their documentation and YouTube tutorials to learn the program and oh man, their documentation is so good. Like I, I have never felt overwhelmed with information and everything I needed to know was there. So I was able to do some animations that were uh, way freaking better than what I had previously made. So I decided to keep learning Cascadeur and the best part is that it didn't, it, it didn't give me the feeling of wanting to give up like the other software that I used before. Uh, you see, my first attempt to animate something was using Maya, but it was too complicated for me back then and I gave up on it without making a single animation. Then when I entered college, I was, I was taking classes to learn 3D as Max, in which I was able to start practicing some 3D animation. But, but it was really difficult for me to set up stuff and make something from scratch. Especially because the rigging system will completely change the rigs that I already have and I will have to end up rigging all my characters from scratch, which was not acceptable to me at the time. So I stopped learning 3ds Max and started learning Blender. Uh, Blender was the program that was the easiest for me to learn, but as well as the others, it was really hard and time consuming to set up a rig system with IK controls. And, and then again, Blender's rigging add-on, Rigify, will mess up the rigs I already had. So I ended up trying a lot of different add-ons to add controls to my rigs. And even the official Unreal Engine Blender add-on, UE to Rigify, wasn't working for me. There were some mistakes here and there, but after setting it up, it was really slow to get stuff done and it was not 100% um, good. So I ended up testing other 3D software animation like Akitsu, but I couldn't even rig my character there and I gave up on the spot. And then at the end, there were so many complications that I didn't know how to fix nor wanted to put the time into. So I ended up switching to Cascadeur for everything related to animations. So C Cascadeur has some limitations, but I will talk about them in a bit. First, I want to show you some comparisons of the animations before using Cascadeur and after. As well as show you how was the progress that I used to animate uh, my animations for Blizzard. Alright, so as you may have seen in our first devlog, our animations were pretty basic, they were really basic, and most of them look really stiff. Let's check for example these punches. These were doing without the use of any inverse kinematics controls, and here the updated version from Cascadero. As you can see, the improvements are huge, and not only the poses are better, but you can feel the strength on each attack, and the, the motion is clear to the player, and, and, it, and now it looks like realistic and appealing. I mean, check this out. This is how I started making my first animations for Bliss. If I wanted to make the character jump, I would have to move and rotate the same bones over and over so that I could get a good pose. And I couldn't move a part of the body without having to move something else which make me, will make me move something else again and again and again. Overall, it took me way too long to make a, an animation that wasn't even as good as I would like it to be. And let's, let's compare it to Cascadeur. If I want to make my character jump, I can use the tool to my advantage and I can just make 3 poses really fast. And then if I want to polish my animation even more, I can use the auto physics button which will apply physics to the animation and give it a polished look. Now if I want to, I can adjust the poses to further improve the animation and apply physics again 
and again until I feel satisfied. But check this out. Even when I learned how to do basic IQ rigging in Blender, but it, it really basic, I was still taking way too long to make simple poses. To make a character sit down or crouch a bit, it would take me several minutes to get a basic pose. And in Cascader, I can do it with a few clicks. I mean, just check this out. Boom, boom, boom. So, how has, Ca how has Cascader helped me out in my game development journey and are improving my animations? Hmm. I think the way Cascader helped me the most is that now I have less limitations while animating. You know, this way I can make the animations that I want to make and I can make them look as good as I want. Like, I, I feel like it gave Bliss another feeling. It completely changed the way you play the game. Because before, it was really slow, it was janky, it was blocky. And now it, it looks really smooth. Everything blends in together really nice. And of course, I was able to give more personality to all the characters that we have. To me, it, to me it made the game more enjoyable. So it has moved Bliss a step above. Now it's in another level from what it was, and especially from what it will be if I wasn't using Cascadeur. Because it also helped me to learn a lot about animation. I think I learned more in the three to six months of using Cascadeur than on my three years trying to animate combined, right? Because now I was actually able to do stuff, I was able to practice with my own rigs and stuff. And so I ended up making so much progress at becoming a 3D animator because I was practicing uh, way, way more often. I can make animations way faster now, I can make them way better, and more importantly, I can pretty much make any animation that I want to make. So in a way, I really appreciate and I'm thankful to the Cascador team and my friend Killer Ray for recommending me this piece of software. But more importantly, I'm glad that I ended up checking Cascader out and gave it a try. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to progress as much in Blizz. I mean, to be honest, I think using Cascader was one of the best decisions I ever made. So, so there you go. That, that's how you know it's good. So, what are the, some of the pros and cons about Cascador? Well, I, I will start with the cons because there are not that many for me to talk about. So, number one, it's the Cascader is still in the early stages. Right now it's in early access and it's missing some features because it's relatively new. But I have been using Cascador since open beta and I gotta say I have seen a lot of progress. And this con is only temporarily, you see. I have been checking their future plans for updates and stuff and they always deliver future plans. Plus, sometimes they even add more stuff out of nowhere into the upcoming update, so that's good. So for those missing features, it's only a matter of time before they get added. And I mean, at some point I was worrying because I, I wanted to know how to detach the sword from the head. And although there were easy workarounds, it soon got added to the future plans as pattern switching. So now we just gotta wait for it. Another con is that as of now, you can't scale the bones up after setting up the rig system. Now if you want to make animations with the effect of scale, like Smash Bros or something else, you will have, you will have some problems doing that. But I was talking with one of the developers and he said it could be added and that it could be pretty easy to set up for future plans. So that's pretty much all of my cons at the moment. Now let's talk about the pros. So the first thing is that Cascader is really easy to use. It's one of the most, if not the most user friendly program that I used before. It's really easy to set up your characters and it's quite efficient at saving you time making animations. You get full IK, FK controllers for your rigs. You have so many tools that help you polish your animations, such as auto physics tools, ba ballistic trajectories, ballistic ghosts, gravity settings. We even have an auto posing tool that helps you pose your character using AI. And then if you want to polish those poses, you do it manually. If not, then it's ready. Then there is also the twin machine that helps you blend poses in between frames. And that makes everything interpolate and blend in together smoothly. Edit trajectory mode, angular momentum tools, and so much more to do. And guess what? It's free! What a deal, man! Although there are some limitations to the free version, like limiting the amount of bones you can have in your character, or the amount of frames that can be exported, but come on! Yeah, if you end up supporting Cascader, that means you are supporting Blaze. But better yet, if you buy Cascader, you can keep it forever. There is an actual perpetual license for Cascader. So if you don't want to pay every single month like me, you can just buy it and keep it forever. Which is really freaking cool, man. Cascader has my respects for this. Good decision, comrades. 
also the developers in the Discord community are awesome, man. So, so the cons are literally nothing compared to what you get in the positive side. And after some time, there might not be any cons at all once all the features are implemented. Okay, so why am I going to keep using Cascadero? Well, for starters, it's the program that I have the best results in. And after that, I, I really want to see what Cascadero can get. I want, to see, I want to see it improving. I know that this program is going to open so many doors for people out there who want to make a living as a 3D animator or so just want to pick it up as a hobby for their projects. And it's, I mean, it already opened doors for me. Besides Bliss, I'm able to work as a 3D animator for other games. So I, I want to keep supporting the developers because I, I can see a good future for Casca de Oro. Plus, the developers are really cool. I mean, everything everything looks so good. Maybe it's too good to be true, but, but yeah. If you ever want to try getting into animation or you already are and are looking for something new, then I really recommend you check out Cascador whenever you have the time to. You won't regret it. And I guess this is it for today. Make sure you check out Cascador. The links will be down in the description. Also, don't forget to watch this place on Steam and join our Discord channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Yeah.